All right then, so we handled the delete request in the last video, but if you remember, we also had other buttons over here as well. And one of those other buttons was an edit chapter button. Now, typically, if we go to the chapter list, let me do this, chapters like so, we'll click on one of these. And then if we click on edit chapter, it takes us to the edit page and it pre-populates the fields with whatever the current chapter content is. And then we can save the edits. It's going to redirect us back to the chapter list. Okay. Or rather back to the show page for that particular chapter. So what I'd like to do now is add that button into the modal when we click on one of these chapters like so. So a little edit button here, but instead of redirecting us to the edit page, I want to grab the edit content and place it in here so that we can make those edits on the same page. All right then, so I'm still on the show view right here, and this is where we need the edit button inside this little if statement. So if it's an HTMX request, we want another button here for editing the chapter. So let's do an anchor tag, and we'll give this a class of button, and then we'll get rid of the href. We don't need that because everything's gonna be handled by HTMX. Now for the um, text, I will actually say edit chapter like so. And then we need to add on a few more HTMX attributes. So first of all, I want to add on HX hyphen get. Now you might be thinking, well, why get if we're making an, an update? Should it not be put? Well, no, because we're not actually updating the chapter yet. All we're doing is getting the form. So we make a get request to get the form. And then when we save the chapter later, that's when we'll be making the put request. So what is the route for this? Well, We'll use the route helper first of all, and then we'll pass in a string, which is outline.chapters.edit. So that's the name of this view right here. So we want to grab this, okay? So that's the first attribute. Next, we want to say, where do we want to output this content when we get it back? Well, we want to put it in the modal. So let's say hx hyphen target and set that equal to the modal ID. And then finally, we need the HX swap attribute and we want it to be the inner HTML of the modal. Awesome. Okay, so next up, we want to send back a fragment if on the server we detect an HTMX request for this thing, for the edit page, right? We don't want to send the whole page back. So let us come to the edit controller, wherever it is here. And I'm going to add in the request argument like so. Then I'm just going to grab this thing where we check if it is an HTMX request and I'm going to paste this in right here. Now, if this is true, we want to just send back a fragment, right? So let's do that down here. Let's tab in and say fragment if, and then we pass in is HTMX and we need the name of this fragment, which is going to be edit hyphen chapter hyphen form. So now, if when we send a request to this edit page, it is an HTMX request like we do here, right? Because this is HTMX, then we're gonna just send back a fragment. So let's make that fragment now inside the edit page. Let's open this up. And just above this div, we'll say at fragment, and we call this edit chapter form. Was that the name of it? Let's have a look. Edit chapter form, yeah, that's the one. And then we need to close the fragment right at the bottom. So at end fragment to do that. All right, so now hopefully this is all gonna work. And actually there's just one more thing we need to do when we request this route right here, we actually also have to send in the chapter. If we take a look at the edit function, you can see we're taking the chapter because we have route model binding. So let's go over here. And as a second argument to this route function, we pass in the chapter, which we have access to. So let's do that. Now let's save this and hopefully this will work. All right, so fingers crossed. Let's see if this all works. I'm gonna click on one of these chapters. Then I'm gonna click on edit chapter. And yeah, it's pre-populating that chapter right here with all the stuff. And at the moment, it's not gonna fully work if we try to save the edits. I'm gonna show you that if I try to save this, then well, yeah, I think it has worked because we get all those exclamation marks at the end, but still it's redirected us to this show page, which we don't want. So if we go back over here now, we should see the updates, but we want the same kind of behavior as before where the modal closes and we just see those updates in real time on the outline page. And we'll do that starting in the next lesson.